your horticulture homegirl and welcome to my very first video i am so excited thank you for watching please be very kind and patient um but i promise what i lack in production value i'll make up for it fun personality um a little background about me i am from baltimore born and raised and I am by no means a professional botanist, gardener, farmer, anything like that. I am just your neighborhood homegirl who loves and has a whole lot of plants. Um, and that's what I'm here for. Uh, as my collection started to grow, of course, I personally started to watch more YouTubers and follow more Instagram. And though I was learning a lot, two things that I noticed, quite frankly, was quite a lack of representation um, as far as black people and people of color. Um, and two, it kind of became, uh, dare I say, a weird flex, um, meaning it was just look at how massive my collection is or look at this $500 cutting I just purchased. It's super rare from, you know, a nation I've never visited. Um, and I wanted to do things a little bit different. I wanted to keep it very casual and make this a safe space for homies who like plants or homies who want to get to like plants and aren't sure if they do yet. Um, so a little bit of my plant history, I would have to say I get it honest. Both of my grandmothers, who were phenomenal women in general, also happened to be incredible with growing anything. Um, my maternal grandmother, my Nana, she was literally an award-winning gardener, farmer, whether it was beautiful flowers or the biggest pumpkin at the state fair she could grow anything and my paternal grandmother my grandmommy was just houseplant extraordinaire she was the lady that you gave your sad and dying plants to and she could revive them like lazarus it was incredible um and speaking of them um and i'll get into this but one of the ways that i pick plants is how they speak to my heart so um you will see kind of all around, but mostly in this big guy, here's a golden pothos as a little dedication to grandmommy. And I have my Nana's favorite plant right here that I just found and she's perfect. This um, Syngonium confetti, I think it is, um, with the little splashes of pink and her favorite bird was a cardinal. So that's why that's hanging out in there too. Um, so when I get more into how to choose a plant and, and how to bring a plant home, I'll explain more of that. But number one, go go with your heart and what speaks to, to what you love. Um, my very first plant was inherited. Um, uh, Two-ish years ago, um, my mom has had house plants for years and I always had my eye on, we call her Big Bertha, um, this beautiful, um, jade peperomia and I've propagated her a million times but I liberated her from my mother's house and she's been going strong um, had a little bit of a ride on the struggle bus but we'll talk about that later but she's been going strong and has been propagated all over the place um, so that was my first plant ever and since then it's kind of grown and grown and grown. Um, I would love and will be talking about everything from pest control, Lord knows, been there, done that, um, repotting, temperature, all of that good stuff. Um, and I think one of the most important things is, as any good homegirl does, I'm gonna show y'all how to save cute little coin um, when it comes to building up your collection of plants. Um, like many hobbies, it can be very affordable or it can be unreasonably expensive depending on the route that you take and of course, um, advice from your friends. 
So I am so excited to share everything that I know um, as I'm learning as well. You see, I still have my plants labeled and that's how they're gonna be. Um, but please do leave me any questions you have in the comments. I have a list of things that I think would be helpful, but you all know better than I do what you would like to see. So again, I cannot thank you all enough for watching this first video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.